Hello everybody. My name is Sushirud Deshpande and I am going to walk you through this video. In this video, we are going to see how to create a database application using Questron's Adapt platform. We have a sample database already created on our database server. We are using Postgres server. You can see test school is the database name and there are 23 tables let's start the adapt server to start the adapt server go into the adapt folder go into adapt server folder then double click ssl server app for postgres backend server server started now let's start qv wizard to create an application go into adapt folder go into adapt tools folder start qv wizard.exe this is how the qv wizard looks like let's go into question adapts database admin we have to create user group and allowed objects table so that we can have user and group protected database our database name is test school username post trace and password then click create user group allowed objects table in database database update is successful click ok we can see on the database that there will be some added tables you can see there are 27 tables now let's go and create an application Click create app, click put the working directory, give your application name test1, database name test school, username postgres password and click generate application now you can see that there are few files created and a log folder is created once this is created your application is ready your application framework is ready click ok go to create and edit form Put your working directory, test wd, give your application name, test1 and then let's try to run the app. It will look something like this. Put your username, password, you can put your database name database server ip database name and database port click login you are able to log in log out let's add some forms here let's use magic form generator to create a form in minute put your working directory test wd put your application test one let's click auto generate forms with associate display control so now we can see all the available tables in the database select one let's select class click ok it has auto generated auto class.py which is our first form click ok go back to create and edit form 
click auto class form name and load the form we can see section 1 has some code in it section 3 has some code section 4 has some code let's test this form start test this is how it looks like let's put out username password login let's search class nothing is there let's create one class first 2016 year 2016 save class one record inserted let's add a subject in the class click subject click new subject add subject max add some total marks total passing marks say 105 save one record has been inserted let's go let's add new class second 2016 2016 save record inserted let's add the same subject select subject search select maths add click ok put some passing marks 105 and save so now we can see both class has this let's add one more subject here new class science passing mark 120 save we have this let's go to first it doesn't have science let's add that subject select subject search select science add click ok say 120 here save so now you can see Second has science marks 120 and first has science marks 130. So within a minute or so we have created a working form. Thank you very much.